Okay, these are quick videos on shell scripts, just going over the basics as quickly as I can so we can get some more fun things. Um, but uh, so far we looked at printing stuff out to the screen with the echo command and also putting things into variables like so. <laughs> if I could type today, echo dollar sign x or a little more proper like that. Um, but uh, besides creating the variables ourselves, how can we get user input? Now I'm gonna show you this, it's gonna be a lot more useful once we actually start writing scripts, um, rather than just typing stuff at the shell, at the command line itself. Um, but you can use the read command, and you can say read, and we'll say in this case x. So you say read, and whatever you put in x will be the variable that the input is being saved to. So I'll hit enter here, and it's waiting for some input. So I can just type in the word test. Now, the variable x, which previously equaled hello, now equals test. So I can say echo dollar sign test, or not test, x, and it says test. Uh, so we can now do the same thing. We can call it something else, though. We can call it name. So read name, and I can now say Bob, and now anytime I have used the variable Bob, or name, I, it will say Bob, so I can say hello, dollar sign, Bob. No, I'm, I'm sorry, hello, <laughs> dollar sign, name, Bob. Um, sorry, my mind's drifting back and forth here. So, um, doesn't seem very useful when we're typing in the shell like this, but as we get into actually writing out scripts and putting things in files that users can run, it'll become much more useful. Um, so, and we'll also learn a bit more about the read command and how you can uh, have it output stuff as well as get input. But I want to show you the basics of the read command so you know how to get user input.